Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Evening show, we are here. We're going to be reviewing the news from the earlier show. Gabriel Jesus, Kieran Tierney, Balogun, Zinchenko, the list goes on and on and on to the break of dawn. See you on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeed. Welcome back again to Canon for the TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. A double header. Um, it's going to be yeah, a few more days until we continue this until next week. And um, yeah, kind of crack into this one. It's going to be a short, sharp one. Just reviewing the earlier news segments of today. It says it's somewhere down here. It just says just to click the like button. That's all you have to do. But apart from that, come into the live chat if you want to. We're going to be talking about Kieran Tierney, Gabriel Jesus, maybe Florian Balogun, Urin Timber, just to name just a few of the protagonists. Right, so the first one, uh, I believe we're going to be talking about um, this one here. Oh, where is he? Uh, there he is. There is uh, Kieran Tierney. Um, Newcastle calling could be, uh, maybe. Uh, only one will arrive. Who's that one? Kieran Tierney. Um, apparently, um, uh, Mark uh, Kuruchero. Oh, my goodness. Uh, both of them have been lauded or, or tracked by Newcastle. Uh, both deals uh, would include either an option or obligation to buy the player next summer. And there is some confidence in the breakthrough that can be made, at least for one of them. Newcastle, I would probably say, are hot on the hills of Kieran Tierney. Does Kieran Tierney really want to leave the shores of Arsenal? I, I can't I can't see it myself. Um, I mean, Tierney has had an excellent start to his career at North London, but he's no longer the first choice left back and wants to play regularly, which is understandable. He will compete with uh, Dan Burns at Matt Taggart at St. James's Park if, I repeat, if he was actually swayed to make the move from uh, North London to up the North East. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Kieran Tierney, I don't think he's going to be going. I think he'll probably stay. Uh, we're short in numbers now with the, the, the injury of um, uh, Urin Timber. I mean, why would you want to let... A, 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 if I say a bog-standard defender, he's not really a bog-standard defender. I mean, he does you know, great in equal measures, can score some goals. He goes forwards, creates opportunities. But um, he, he can defend very, very well. And that's what we want. We want defenders who know how to defend. All right. And um, the second news segment, um, it's just some, some uh, probably um, catch up on Gabriel Jesus. Um, Jesus, as we know, will miss a few weeks after a second operation on his knee. The forward missed more than three months of last season after surgery and has now gone under the knife again in an attempt to fix the problem. He's had some discomfort in his knee uh, that has been causing some issues and they will, they have had to go in and resolve it, Arteta uh, said uh, last week. It's not something major, but he's uh, going to be out for a few weeks, I think. Now, also, I've not put any uh, time frames on Jesus' return. But he's not expected uh, back before the international break in the middle of September. God, my goodness. September? Oh, my goodness. Alexander, Alexander, Alexander Zinchenko, on the other hand, uh, having missed the preseason, Zinchenko was uh, primed to return against Forrest, yet didn't appear in the squad. Um, Arteta said, I think everyone is available. Arteta said, um, ahead of the game, actually on Saturday, meaning that the left back may have been out for a tactical reasons or not quite been sharp enough to play. Uh, he's expected to be ready for the match against Crystal Palace next week, Monday. Monday. That's the earliest point uh, that we have uh, there. Um, some other news. Um, Balogun. I'm I'm surprised at this one actually. Uh, Fulham now want the phenomenal Arsenal player as they prepare for uh, a £40 million pound bid. Uh, Fulham are considering a move for Arsenal striker for Balogun as they edge closer to send Alexander Mitrovic 
no, not Alex, Alex, Alexander Mitrovic to Saudi Pro League side Al Khalil this summer. Now, this is according to a report from the Daily Mirror, which notes that Marco Silva's men have the eye on the Gunners Starlet in the final couple of weeks in the transfer window. Balogun is facing a race against time to get out uh, of Arsenal. The 22 year old has played no part in their preseason so far. And it appears that Mikel Arteta is content with the idea of letting him go. However, however, Arsenal are not going to make it easy for the uh, um, United States international uh, to leave. The Daily Mail reports that Balogun is valued at around fifty million pounds. Are they crazy? Are they crazy? What are they thinking? I mean, if the player wants to go, then sell him. If you're not interested in selling him, just say you don't want to sell him. Don't put that humongous price. Fifty million pounds, still unproven in the Premier League, and he knows that, which is why he ideally would like to fight for his place. But the temptation, I think, is there. You stay in London, just make the shift from North London to West London, Premier League, first team football. Bob's your uncle. There you go. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> And the last news segment is about Dino, Dino Mavropanos. Well, West Ham, uh, yeah, turned to former Arsenal defender um, Constantino Mavropanos. There's a lot to move on in their centre-back search. After talks over, Ari Maguire stalled. Yes, uh, Maguire won't be going anywhere. He's going with Man United. West Ham are exploring a deal for former uh, Arsenal centre-back Constantino Mavropanos. The Stuttgart defender has also had interest from Eintracht Frankfurt. Wolves and Nottingham Forest this summer, but is attracted by the prospect of a return to London under David Moyes. Well, it won't be uh, in the red and white of Arsenal. West Ham have turned to a 25-year-old uh, Greece international after talks for Manchester United's uh, uh, defender, Aaron Maguire, has actually and finally stalled. And these and those have been the new segments currently running on Canon Foy TV on this evening show over here. Right, so what I'm going to do, I need to go into our Twitter feed and see if we have had uh, any retweets or comments uh, thus far. Okay, no, there's not been anything there. Nope. Oh. oh, what is that? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> All right, so there's not been any retweets uh, there so far. So I think what I'm going to do, let me go onto the our YouTube platform and check out the votes, the voting that we have done. Um, quickly refresh it. And the question was, do, do Arsenal need two number one goalkeepers? Do we need two number one goalkeepers? Are they number one goalkeepers? Well, anyway, we'll ask the question. We have received uh, one short of 800. So 799 votes. Still one comment. I've not seen that comment. Maybe it's um, hidden somewhere. 24 likes. So, again, the question is, do Arsenal need uh, two number one goalkeepers? Choose only one. 17% of the votes say, no, Arsenal do not need two number one goalkeepers. And, of course, 83% say, yeah. The man from Del Monte say, yeah. Arsenal needs uh, two number one goalkeepers. I can't, I can't think why. Can't think why. All right. Uh, <laughs> Let me go into the live chat for the first time on this show over here. Let's see who we have here. Uh, we've got uh, Boyd. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, looking at the situation Arsenal is in, makes no sense to let Kieran Tierney go. I completely agree, brother. Completely agree. Why would you want to let him go? And actually, Arteta did say, you know, we, we, we didn't expect this. So we have to prepare, you know, modif make some modifications. And that's what happens. That's what happens in football. You, nobody can foresee the future unless you're going to be predicting who's going to win the Premier League. Man City. It'd be Man City. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, in that situation, keep hold of Kieran Tierney. I mean, there comes a point where you might have a player or players who do not want to stay at Arsenal. And the last thing you want are players upsetting the changing rooms changing the, the, the atmosphere with their negativity. So if Kieran Tin is that kind of player where actually he's thinking, do you know what, I'm not getting any first-team football. I'm better off going to play for Newcastle where I can be guaranteed first-team football. Why would you want to stop that player? Let the player go if he wants to go. I mean, I'm just just making, you know, an, a, an assumption here. 
I'm not, I'm not saying I know that's the case, but I'm saying if if that's the situation, then let Kieran Tierney go. Apart from that, keep hold of Kieran Tierney. He wants to play football and he wants to play for Arsenal. Hit that like button, says Colin. Colin, good afternoon to you all. Uh, how true is the story of Sign uh, Parvat? Uh, I, I have not read that anywhere. I've not read that, so I couldn't tell you whether yay or nay. Sorry, my brother. Um, Alex, uh, maybe Arsenal should just start buying players that are already broken. <laughs> you know my thoughts, Colin. You know my thoughts. Yeah, need to do our own due diligence buying players. Colin, what do you think about Kieran? Actually, I think I know what you what you think. Or feel what you're feeling about Kieran Tierney. What feelings are you getting about Kieran Tierney? Do you think he will go? I know ideally you would want him to stay, but again, if we have a player who is itching to get out of Arsenal, double quick time, then then let him go. Let him go. <laughs> Bye, please. <laughs> you know my thoughts, sir. You know my thoughts. All right, all right, all right. I'm just thinking, did I miss something else? I think I was going to talk about uh, Gabby on Magalliangs, but um, I don't think I will. But it's not even here, is he? Uh, yeah, no, I won't talk about uh, Magalliangs. Um, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to uh, uh, Gabby on Magalliangs? If he's going to be staying. You know, players are human beings, obviously, Alex. You know, so as much as we like to think we know what's going on, we have no idea. Unless you are a player. I'm not a player. I play for Arsenal. But I'm just thinking, I'd like to know what is Gabriel Magallanes thinking? What is he thinking? He didn't start against Nottingham Forest. He does make still make rash uh, decisions and fouls in silly places. And he's probably thinking, well, you're in Timber. Has come here. Oh, he's injured. William Saliba. I'm not as good as William Saliba. What is he thinking? Is he thinking to go? I, I don't know. What is he thinking? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, right. Uh, let's have a look here. I want to just kind of quickly delete this. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so come on. Any more uh, last last comments of them or comments? Then again, we're going to uh, call this quits. Uh, cut it very very short. But I think what I will do, like I did on the morning show. I'll give the live chat a little bit more time to kind of heat up and populate. Yeah, more people to come because, like, I can see you listening to me, watching me over here, but you won't come to a live chat. So come into a live chat. Let me know your thoughts about, you know, Gabba Jesus. Do you think we literally need to go in the market and buy an out and out striker? Because we don't really have an out and out striker. I mean, we've got Eddie and Ketia, who's the fox in the box. Uh, Gabbage is, is a different type of striker, isn't he? Maybe a number nine. But do you think we need to go into the market and buy another at what well, an out and out striker? Can Mikel Arteta get another sign over the line, knowing fully well that we're going to be out without uh, Urim Timber for the best part of six to seven months? So consider that at least. But whilst you're considering that, um, we're going to take a little break. It's not a TV channel. It's our channel. Take a little break and we'll be back after these words.
Right, yeah, we are back. Give, try to give the live chat a little bit more time to kind of populate. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, so, so one, one more segment that I actually forgot to include on the morning uh, show was uh, the birthday of uh, Thierry um, Henri. I'm not going to tell you how old he is, but um, all I'm going to say is happy birthday to my twin brother, Thierry Henri. <laughs> um, some people say that he is the, the best footballer to have played in the Premier League. I completely and utterly uh, disagree. I would vote for Dennis Bergkamp any time. But um, you pay your money, you take your pick, and uh, it's opinion, isn't it? But for me, um, yeah, happy birthday to Terry Henry. Not the greatest footballer to have uh, played in the Premier League. But anyway. Well, I think there's been maybe one more comment. I see. One more comment. I see. Uh, uh yeah okay here we go so colin says tinny has been healthy and available for over a year now but we play everyone else ahead of him but we play i know you're not gonna like this colin but we play a thomas party it's not down to thomas party i don't blame thomas party for this but we play thomas party at right back when we've got right backs until you know i, I don't know coming away at the place so why are we playing on Thomas Party at right back when we've got enough right backs there? Anyway, like I said, uh, I would keep Kieran Tierney. I'm driving, not not me. I, I know you're you're driving. Uh, or I would be li lighting uh, your chat up on these topics. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're growing uh, that killer beat. <laughs> I don't play it often these days. You know, I don't play it often, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that kind of gets me moving. You know what I mean? Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, 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 uh, I, I, I get the feelings that we, we have come to an end again, just over the 20 uh, minute mark, which is quite all right. I'm going to have an early night with the missus, just been finishing watching the movie. That's why I was a little bit late. But um, yes, yes, I will be. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I will be back tomorrow evening. Yes, because I've got some things I need to do. Uh, in the morning, so uh, I won't be back tomorrow morning. I'll be back tomorrow evening, early afternoon at least. Uh, thank you for that. Make sure that you do just click the like button. It says it's just there. You don't have to subscribe. Just click the like button. And uh, until then, we shall see you um, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow early afternoon. Depending on which part of the world that you're 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 going to be listening to us from. But anyhow, just remember that this has been canon fodder the channel for arsenal fans all over this world <laughs>